extremely honored that the legislature is sending a group of individuals who are going to tour the forensic science facility. This is a keynote event uh, in the sense that many of these individuals are interested in the economic development potential as well as the educational uh, aspects of forensic science and biometrics and for them to be here today is really an honor. The infrastructure that we've de developed here at the Marshall University Forensic Science Center is in my mind next to none in the sense that it's uh, we have state-of-the-art technologies in place, we have excellent students, we have individuals in our DNA lab as well as chemistry and microscopy and bacterial source tracking labs that are uh, experts in their area and we're very fortunate to have these, this team that we've assembled here at Marshall. We do DNA testing for the state of West Virginia as well as other states. Uh, some of that DNA testing is focused on the convicted offender database which we call CODIS. Uh, other testing is in conjunction with the West Virginia Medical Examiner in using DNA to identify human remains. And then we are working with other states and other agencies, including Miami-Dade, Charleston, South Carolina, uh, the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department, as well as New Orleans uh, PD. So we, we have a lot of different partners or stakeholders that we're working with uh, continuously. And that really puts our program and our center on the map, the fact that it has a national scope.